Hey guys, how are you doing tonight? But the best thing that I have to say is that I hate my accent. <laughs> and I hate it because every time I speak, people realize right away that I'm from Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys don't understand me, you can play some things. I got someone over there like, what is the joke? <laughs> so, um, basically I've been here in America for three years. And there's some things that I don't really understand about you, about the culture, I don't know. So I'm gonna share it with you. The first thing, the size of the things here in America. Everything is huge. I'm talking about cars, fruits, dreams, houses. I mean, I guess women might be happy about the fact that everything's big. But for the rest, then something else, for example, the ice in the drinks. It's all ice. <laughs> Sometimes they should give you a, a snow shovel instead of the straw. <laughs> well, also, what is the problem that you have? How many different kind of Oreos do you think that you can make? <laughs> Pumpkin spice Oreo. Watermelon Oreo. The double stuff, the mega stuff, the thing, the extra thing. Everything. Relax. The classic one, that's it. It's shit. And the last thing. The pleasure thing. If someone is this, says, bless you, bless you, bless you. I've seen people a mile away that turn. Bless you. And this. If you don't say bless, bless you, when someone next to you is misses, they look at you like you are cleaning it. They are waiting for you like... But now, let's go to serious things. Serious things. I have a message for all the women in the world. And I really mean all the women in the world. So listen carefully. Men, all men, we don't like Go shopping with you. <laughs> and I realized about this service last week. My girlfriend told me, let's go shopping together. Together. Stop lying. I don't need that. I'm gonna go anyway. Stop lying. Okay? Because the thing is, when I go with my girlfriend, I'm not with her. I'm chasing her. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> so she's always three, four steps ahead of me, and she expects me to be behind. Because she's just a matter of time, and then she's gonna start giving me clothes, and clothes, and I gotta be there standing. Like, I gotta be <laughs> and I'm not a person anymore. <laughs> I'm losing my dignity right here. You know? But you're there because you love her. Aww. And that's what you want her to do. <laughs> that's another story. <laughs> so, then you go to the fitting room together. And the person that is in charge of the area, uh, she asks you, how many items? You look around. Asia? Nice? I don't know. But that's okay for you. I mean, for the first four or five hours, that's okay for you. But after the fourth hour, there's only one thing in your mind. What the fuck can I say? You go into one store and you're thinking, I just need a break. What can I say? So you tell her, we're going to this one. Because you know there are seats over there. You go inside. And you see only men in the sitting area, of course. <laughs> the women are crazy, walking around, you know. So you go there, you sit next to another guy, you look at him, hey, hey. With a girlfriend? Yeah, girlfriend. How about you? Girlfriend and mom. <laughs> when did you get here? Yesterday. <laughs> 
<laughs> you were there for you. Because <laughs> <laughs> when I go shopping, it's another story, you know? The only thing I do is, let's say, I see a jacket that I, that I like, I don't know the price, so I ask for the price. How much is this? And they tell you, 120? And you do this. Which means, I cannot afford it. <laughs> I guess if, if I was thinking about getting it. And then you go to your girlfriend and you say, you know, I'm not feeling it today. Let's go home. We'll be back next year. <laughs> and it wasn't December, it was January. Anyway, um, I thought that in exchange of the marathon that I went through with my, my girlfriend in the mall, because uh, the only difference between uh, going shopping with my girlfriend and running a marathon is the pace. It's the pace. Like, it's, it's exhausting. So I thought it could be a nice idea if she came uh, with me to the urology. For those of you who don't know, that's the pilot. <laughs> and I have a problem. I cannot control my urine. <laughs> you don't know what I'm doing right now. So, I went to the urologist with her, I opened the door, and I was an outsider. There was a 90-year-old man, another one in wheelchair, I was completely shocked. And suddenly, all the looks were on me, and I knew what they were thinking. They all were thinking, this kid, this kid is fucked if he's over here. <laughs> fucked. Wait. But have you ever been to the urologist? Do you know how many questions you have to answer? Like, all kind of questions. Like for example, what color is your penis when you wake up in the morning? <laughs> Red? Penny? Also, how do you clean your penis when you shower? <laughs> And then the last one, just fell off. Very funny. And it was short when it's in there. Do you ever feel having a vagina could improve your life? <laughs> of course, I said yes. <laughs> you guys know where I'm talking about. <laughs> so I went there. I was with the urologist, everything was fine, he said my penis was perfect. I go up, my mom calls me. So, Tony, how did it go? I was exhausted. And I said, well mom, some of the questions were really difficult, I think I got a beat. And now, I would like to tell you about the time that I lost virginity, but I gotta go shopping with my girlfriend. Hey. Hey.